Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here. For today's video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how you can create a look like this. I'm going to show you step by step how I do it so it can be easy for you to recreate. So I hope you guys like it. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button to be a part of this little family and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. And give this video a big thumbs up please if you liked it. And now let's get started. As always, I'm going to start by cleaning the bottom of my eyebrows using the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer and the Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of the same concealer on my eyelid and I'm going to use that as a primer for my eyeshadows. I'm going to put a little bit more than I normally do because this concealer is a little lightweight so it's not full coverage so I'm just going to put a little more than I normally do but not a lot just enough so it covers the darkness of my eyelids and the little veins. Then I'm going to set that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and Anastasia's A12 fluffy brush. I'm going to set it in tapping motions that way the concealer doesn't move and then once everything is nice and set I'm going to swipe away the excess powder. Setting the concealer will help blend out the eyeshadows a lot better, faster, and easier. I'm going to take the LA Girl Born Exclusive eyeshadow palette and I'm going to grab this brown eyeshadow right here with the BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to apply this first on my crease and it doesn't matter if you apply it in tapping motions or swiping it because I already set the concealer. Then I'm going to grab a little more and then apply it on my on the rest of my crease and once it's there and, and it looks even, I'm going to start blending it out in circular motions above my crease. When you're blending out eyeshadows, you don't want to have a lot of the product on the brush. It does help if you have a little bit and you can take the excess powder off if you feel if you feel that it has a lot, you can just take off the excess powder and then start blending it out and like I said since I set the concealer with pressed powder is going to be the eyeshadows are going to blend out a lot smoother and it's going to be faster so if you have small or hooded eyes you want the eyeshadow to be above your crease and not just on your eyelid or right on the crease it has to you have to be able to see it when you have your eyes open above your crease right over here and if you want to move the eyeshadow a little bit higher what you can do is grab a little more of the eyeshadow and then don't apply it right here where you want the eye shadow to be you have to apply it a little bit lower than that you apply it right here where your crease is at and then slowly start blending it out towards your eyebrow wherever you want the eyeshadow to be because if you apply it right here and then start blending it that out that's going to blend out a, lo a lot higher than where you want it to create the cut crease i'm going to use the nyx cosmetics jumbo eye pencil in milk and the real techniques detailer brush i'm going to start by applying it above my crease and it helps a lot if i stretch my eyelids and then slowly start applying it a little bit higher depending on how big you want your eyes to look. You also want to be able to see this color uh, above your crease and not just on the eyelid. Especially if you have hooded eyes or if your eyes are small and you want them to look big. I highly recommend for you to use a small and flat brush to do this. It just makes it a lot easier to create the, the cut crease and then on the outer corner on my eyelid I'm gonna blend it out. It has to be nice and blended out that way the eyeshadows you apply on top of that can also look nice and blended. From the same LA Girl eyeshadow palette I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow, eyeshadow using the Real Techniques brush and I'm going to apply this on the inner part of my eyelid and the center. This is going to pretty much be on top of most, most of my eyelid except the outer corner. Then I'm going to grab this other shimmery eyeshadow with the same Real Techniques brush and apply this on the outer corner of my eyelid. And to blend out the two eyeshadows together, I'm just going to go right in between the two eyeshadows and just lightly start blending it out without having any, without having a lot of the product on the brush. For the eyeliner, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to start on the center of my eyelid, right above the root of my eyelashes. And then I always like for the outer part to be a little bit thicker than the inner part. And 
And for the wing part of the eyeliner, I like to continue, like extend it a little bit on the top part of the eyeliner and then connect it on the bottom part. I know a lot of people like to do it the other way around, but this is, I find this way a lot easier and faster, especially if I just want to do a quick small eyeliner. I do it this way and if I want it to be a little bit longer or thicker, I just add a little bit. The eyelashes that I'm applying are from Anastasia. I forgot the name of the style, but I will have all the products that I used in the description box below. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to apply the same eyeshadow I applied on my eyelid. The very first brown eyeshadow, and I'm using a small brush to apply that. And I'm going to do two coats just, so, just to make the eyeshadow a bit darker. And last but not least, I'm going to apply the mascara from Rimmel Wonderfully Real Mascara on my lower lashes. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys like this look. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you recreated this look. And please give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends and your family if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!